Alright, so now we have some Minolta lenses to show you. The first one is a uh, 50 millimeter um, to two. So this is it, wide open. I wonder if it'll focus or anything. Ooh, kind of does. Well, this is it, wide open at its widest setting right there. And then you get the closing in. You got that nice aperture that you can see in there, the corners of it and everything. This one's really good in low light. Best lens on this table, probably. Alright. So I can show you this one. This is a 2x converter. So it's like twice as zoomed in. You know what I mean? Maybe get it to fit on there with the tripod mounting away, but whatever. So that's it. It's good. It's good enough. You know, it's a 2x converter. It messes around with your aperture, so you can't shoot as low as in light. Works really good with this. So I'll do this one next. This is a uh, 135 2.8. So it's got a built-in lens hood that you just kind of slide up when you want to use it. And pop it down when you don't. So, uh, you can see, it is a 2.8. Some people saying, oh, it's a 5.6. No, it's a 2.8. So, I mean, you can take really good pictures with this. I mean, it's bright enough, you know, it's a 135 2.8. Alright. This is like a battle tank of a lens. Forget that it says JCPenney on it, but this is a... 28 millimeter 2.8 which you can pull it up to 2.8 you can see it's pretty wide open I mean it's wide open enough I mean it doesn't work really good in low light but it's 2.8 so actually this one with it blown wide open yeah look at that so Zooms in pretty decent. I mean, this isn't the actual zoom that's going to be on it. Oh, maybe it is. It looks good enough. But that's what it's doing. And then those are all Minolta capable lenses. They're all JC Penny lenses, except for this one. This one is the 50, which is a Minolta lens. So that's the lenses. And I can throw in the body with this one too. So, uh, this is the Minolta XGA. It is not a fully manual camera. It has the automatic setting that has the bulb, which I was using for some night photography, and the auto, and then the X, which I believe is the sync. Anyways, there's plus one, plus two, minus one and two. What that means is that that's your exposure compensation, which, uh, it it kind of makes it into a more manual camera, which you're not going to be doing things that are that off of the values that you're going to be reading from it to get a good exposed picture. So those are just, you know, it's close enough to manual for what you need to get. If you want it a little bit brighter or darker, you just go on whatever side. So, uh, and then it has the self timer in it. And then a battery check. Which you go like that. When I do that, that light pops on. It means the battery's working. You advance the film by pulling this down like that, and then letting go. And then you just push the shutter to take a picture, which I won't, because I got film in it. Alright, so that's all of it. There you go.